Are you looking for a way to understand where all of your leads are coming from within your business and how to keep track of them? Because wouldn't it be amazing if you had a dashboard that said 10% of your leads came from this source, 15 from this source, and the rest are from a third source. Wouldn't that help you grow your business by understanding this data? Let me show you how you can integrate this into your CRM and build a dashboard that will give you all this information. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. In order to be able to understand where all of your leads are coming from, obviously you need to enter that data into a board. So as you can see here, I have a leads board and I have a column called source. It's simply a status column where I added all the different sources of my leads. So here we have Instagram, word of mouth, YouTube, and obviously you can just click edit and you can change these to all of to whatever sources of leads you have. Now, there are ways that this can be automated. Like if you want to understand the source of all your leads, like where are your leads coming from? What marketing tool is working? You obviously need to keep track of this somewhere. So in your Monday board, I would recommend on your leads board, you create a column called source. Within source, you could see that I have a status column and I've added all my potential options of different sources where my leads come from. Now, as long as I have this data in my leads board, maybe it will follow through to my contacts board or my, my deals board. That's a separate question about building CRMs. You have this data. So you basically know every single lead where they came from. Now, I do want to mention on a side note that there are ways to automate this. So for example, if you have an item that's coming from your website and it's, it could be that you're using a third party tool to connect them, you can automatically assign this source to one specific thing. Or if it's coming from a MailChimp lead, if you're using Monday forms or super forms, you can potentially automate this, but worst case is you manually enter it. So now that you have a place to actually collect the data in your CRM on your leads board, what we need to do is pull it into a dashboard. So if we go into our sales dashboard here, you can see that I have one widget over here for the source of all of my leads. What I did is I click on add widget and I chose a chart. Now I then chose this kind of graph and I'll just show you the settings that I set it to. So if you open settings, um, I chose this pie chart. And if you go to settings, so my label is source. Now I have the source information in my leads board and my contacts board. So I'm just pulling in source and it's a percentage. Now think of how amazing this data is. Here I can see, look, Google paid ads is 21% of my leads. That's a great source of potential leads. LinkedIn is doing really well. You know, Organic traffic is not as good. YouTube is the same as organic traffic. So with this valuable information, you can make data-driven decisions about how to continue your marketing efforts and bring in more clients. Another type of dashboard that you can that you can build. So this is the source of all leads. I also have this where I did the source of leads this last month and this month. So I simply put on a filter. And the last thing that you can do which I don't see, I thought I had it, but I don't see that we have it, is you basically can do this, a number of leads. I'm just gonna make this a little larger so you can see it. And you can do leads by, number of leads by source. So I'm just gonna change the settings here. And my column here, instead of being group, is just gonna be source. Sorry, I have to get rid of that. Okay, now you can see that I have two leads from Google paid ads. I have one from YouTube. I have one from previous client. So again, it's a pretty simple concept. You need to build a column within your boards within Monday to track the sources, write all the sources, and then pull the information into dashboards. If you need some more help with dashboards, you can click on the link above for another video that talks about how to build out dashboards. But that's it. Once you have the information, you have enough data to make an important data-driven decision about how to grow your company. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.